Asafeti de AESEFT de is the dried latex exuded from the rhizome or taproot of several species of ferula, a perennial herb that grows 1 to 1.5 meters tall. The species is native to the deserts of Iran, mountains of Afghanistan, and is mainly cultivated in nearby India. As its name suggests, Asafeti de has a fetid smell but in cooked dishes it delivers a smooth flavor reminiscent of leeks. It is also known as Ascent, Food of the Gods, Joani Badian, Stinking Gum, Devil's Dung, Hing, I-N-G-U, Kayam and Ting, Uses. Cooking this spice is used as a digestive aid, in food as a condiment, and in pickling. It typically works as a flavor enhancer and, used along with turmeric, is a standard component of Indian cuisine, particularly in lentil curries, such as dal as well as in numerous vegetable dishes. It is widely used in South Indian and Maharashtrian cuisine, which is mainly vegetarian, and is often used to harmonize sweet, sour, salty and spicy components in food. Asafetida also serves the purpose as a vegetarian alternative to make food taste more full-flavored and savory. The spice is added to the food at the time of tempering. Sometimes dried and ground asafetida can be mixed with salt and eaten with raw salad. In its pure form, its odor is so strong the aroma will contaminate other spices stored nearby if it is not stored in an airtight container. Many commercial preparations of asafetida utilize the resin ground up and mixed with a larger volume of wheat flour. The mixture is sold in sealed plastic containers with a small hole at the bottom, allowing the diluted spice to be dusted lightly over the food being cooked. However, its odor and flavor become much milder and more pleasant upon heating in oil or ghee, acquiring a taste and aroma reminiscent of sautéed onion and garlic. It is used widely by the merchant caste of the Hindus and by adherents of Jainism and Vishnavism, particularly in Rajasthan, Gujarat, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and Maharashtra, who do not eat onions or garlic. It is used in many vegetarian and lentil dishes to add both flavor and aroma as well as to reduce flatulence. It is, however, one of the pungent vegetables generally avoided by Buddhist vegetarians. Medical applications anti-flatulent. Asafetida reduces the growth of indigenous microflora in the gut, reducing flatulence. In the Jammu region of India, asafetida is used as a medicine for flatulence and constipation by 60% of locals. A digestion aid. In Thailand and India, it is used to aid digestion and is smeared on the abdomen in an alcohol or water tincture known as maharing. Asafetida in this tincture form was evidently used in Western medicine as a topical treatment for abdominal injuries during the 18th and 19th centuries, although when it came into use in the West and how long it remained in use is uncertain. One notable case in which it was used is that of Canadian Cura des Bois Alexis Street, Martin, who in 1822 suffered a severe abdominal injury from an accidental shooting that perforated his right lung then stomach and shattered several ribs. St. Martin was treated by American Army surgeon William Beaumont who subsequently used St. Martin as the subject of a pioneering series of experiments in gastric physiology. When St. Martin's wounds had healed, there remained an open fistula into his stomach that enabled Beaumont to insert various types of food directly into St. Martin's stomach and record the results. In his account of his treatment of and later experiments on St. Martin, Beaumont recorded that he treated the suppurating chest wound with a combination of wine mixed with diluted muriatic acid and 30 to 40 drops of tincture of asafetida applied three times a day, and that this appeared to have the desired effect, helping the wound to heal. Fighting influenza. Asafetida was used in 1918 to fight the Spanish influenza pandemic. In 2009, researchers reported that the roots of asafetida produce natural antiviral drug compounds that demonstrated potency against the H1N1 virus in vitro. 
and concluded that Sesky Turpina Kumarans from F. Asafetida may serve as promising lead compounds for new drug development against influenza A viral infection, remedy for asthma and bronchitis. It is also said to be helpful in cases of asthma and bronchitis, a folk tradition remedy for children's colds. It is mixed into a pungent smelling paste and hung in a bag around the afflicted child's neck. An antimicrobial, asafetida has a broad range of uses in traditional medicine as an antimicrobial, with well-documented uses for treating chronic bronchitis and whooping cough, as well as reducing flatulence. A contraceptive abortifacient. Asafetida has also been reported to have contraceptive abortifacient activity. It is related to the ancient ferula species Sylphium, anti-epileptic. Asafetida oleo gum resin has been reported to be anti-epileptic in classical onana, as well as ethno-botanical literature, balancing the vata and kapha. In India according to the Ayurveda, asafetida is considered to be one of the best spices for balancing the vata dosha. It mitigates vata and kapha, relieves flatulence and colic pain. It is pungent in taste and at the end of digestion. It aggravates pitta, enhances appetite, taste and digestion. It is easy to digest. Antidote for opium. Asafetida has only been speculated to be an antidote for opium. Asafidity bag. Asafetida was approved by the U.S. Pharmacopedia to stave off the Spanish flu epidemic of 1918 that killed millions worldwide. It was placed into pouches called asafidity bags that were provided by drugstores to be hung around the neck to try to prevent catching the disease. Other uses bait. John C. Duval reported in 1936 that the odor of asafetida is attractive to the wolf, a matter of common knowledge, he says. Along the Texas-Mexico border, it is also used as one of several possible scent baits, most notably for catfish and pike. May also be used as a moth light trap attractant by collectors, when mixed by approximately one part to three parts with a sweet fruit jelly, repelling spirits. In Jamaica, asafetida is traditionally applied to a baby's anterior fontanelle to prevent spirits from entering the baby through the fontanelle. In the African-American hoodoo tradition, asafetida is used in magic spells as it is believed to have the power both to protect and to curse. In ceremonial magic, especially from the key of Solomon the king, it is used to protect the magus from demonic forces and to evoke the same and bind them. History in the West It was familiar in the early Mediterranean, having come by land across Iran. Though it is generally forgotten now in Europe, it is still widely used in India. It emerged into Europe from a conquering expedition of Alexander the Great, who, after returning from a trip to northeastern Persia, thought they had found a plant almost identical to the famed Sulphium of Cyrene in North Africa, though less tasty. Dioscorides, in the first century, wrote, The Cyrenite kind, even if one just tastes it, at once arouses a humor throughout the body and has a very healthy aroma, so that it is not noticed on the breath, or only a little, but the median Iranian is weaker in power and has a nastier smell. Nevertheless, it could be substituted for sulfium in cooking, which was fortunate, because a few decades after Dioscorides' time, the true sulfium of Cyrene became extinct and asafetida became more popular amongst physicians, as well as cooks. Asafetida is also mentioned numerous times in Jewish literature, such as the Mishnah. Maimonides also writes in the Mishni Torah, in the rainy season, one should eat warm food with much spice. But a limited amount of mustard and asafetida. Asafetida was described by a number of Arab and Islamic scientists and pharmacists. 
Ibn Sena discussed the effects of asafetida on digestion. Ibn al-Baitar and Faik al-Din al-Razi described some positive medicinal effects on the respiratory system. After the Roman Empire fell, until the 16th century, asafetida was rare in Europe, and if ever encountered, it was viewed as a medicine. If used in cookery, it would ruin every dish because of its dreadful smell, asserted Garcia de Rota's European guest. Nonsense. Garcia replied, Nothing is more widely used in every part of India, both in medicine and in cookery. All the Hindus who can afford it buy it to add to their food, cultivation and manufacture. The resin-like gum comes from the dried sap extracted from the stem and roots and is used as a spice. The resin is grayish-white when fresh but dries to a dark amber color. The asafeti de resin is difficult to grate and is traditionally crushed between stones or with a hammer. Today, the most commonly available form is compounded asafeti de, a fine powder containing 30% asafeti de resin, along with rice flour and gum arabic. Ferula asafetida is a monoecious, herbaceous, perennial plant of the family Apiaceae. It grows to 2 meters high, with a circular mass of 30 to 40 centimeters leaves. Stem leaves have wide sheathing petioles. Flowering stems are 2.5-3 m high and 10 cm thick and hollow, with a number of schizogenous ducts in the cortex containing the resinous gum. Flowers are pale greenish-yellow produced in large compound umbels. Fruits are oval flat, thin, a reddish-brown and have a milky juice. Roots are thick, massive, and pulpy. They yield a resin similar to that of the stems. All parts of the plant have the distinctive fetid smell. Composition Typical asafetida contains about 40-64% to 64 resin, 25% endogenous gum, 10-17% volatile oil, and 1.5-10% ash. The resin portion is known to contain a cerecinotanols, A and B, ferulic acid, umbelliferone and four unidentified compounds. Etymology the English name is derived from Asha, a Latinized form of Farsiaza, meaning resin, and Latin fetidis meaning smelling, fetid, which refers to its strong sulfurous odor. In the U.S., the folk speaking and pronunciation is asafetati. It is called in Marathi, in Hindi, in Bengali, in Kannada, in Telugu and in Tamil. In 14th century Malayalam it is called Ramadam and is sold by special traders called Ramador. Its pungent odor has resulted in its being known by many unpleasant names. In French it is known as Merde du Diable, meaning devil's feces. In English it is sometimes called devil's dung, and equivalent names can be found in most Germanic languages. Also, in Finnish it is called Pirun Pasca or Pirun Pika, and in Turkish it is known as Sitan Tursi, Sitan Boku or Sitan Otu. In popular culture, Asafetida is widely mentioned as a treatment a choice of the seafaring physician Stephen Maturin, a principal character in the Aubrey Maturin series of historical novels of Patrick O'Brien, CBE set in the Napoleonic Wars. Its smell was said to reassure sailors of its effectiveness. Penrod, an 11-year-old boy in a 1929 Booth Tarkington story set in the Midwestern United States, suffers intensely for being forced to wear a bag of asafetida on his neck and encounters a girl in the same condition. In the Tooth or Consequences episode of the comedy TV series Sanford and Son, Fred Sanford wears an asafetida bag to get rid of a bad toothache. In the movie El Dorado, asafetida is a component of a hangover remedy introduced by James Kahn's character, Mississippi. In the Snidely Sawmill episode of Dudley Do Right, villain Snidely Whiplash tells Nell Fennick preparatory to her being tied to a log that, because, Miss Fennick, beneath this black exterior there lies a mustard plaster and over the mustard plaster lies an asafetti de bag. On it, imprinted in pica are the words, Whippy loves Nelly, in the Incident at Red River Station, Season 2, Episode 13 of Rawhide. Townspeople wear an asafetida bag to ward off smallpox. 
In Robertson Davis' novel, Fifth Business, the barber Milo and his father hang bags of asafetida around their necks to fight the Spanish flu. In Sinclair Lewis' novel Aerosmith, the protagonist smells asafetida as a part of a fraternity initiation. In Aldous Huxley's novel Brave New World, Beta, children are given a whiff of asafetida, accompanied by descriptions of deltas, as being undesirable to play with during sleep conditioning, in order to condition them to play only with members of their caste. In To Kill a Mockingbird, Scout describes the clean smells of the attendees at the first purchase African Emmy church, saying there was hearts of love hair dressing mingled with asafetida, snuff, Hoyt's cologne, Brown's mule, peppermint, and lilac talcum. In Toni Morrison's The Bluest Eye, Aunt Jimmy raises trolley breed love after his mother abandons him. He is grateful for Aunt Jimmy's kindness except when she wore the asafetida bag around her neck. In the short story, Counting Blessings, by Dr. James Herriot, Dr. Herriot treats a dog Herman, that is cured by asafetida in the Indian film Queen. The main character Rani Mera calls her mother to ask for the English translation of Hing, a spice used in Indian cuisine. Her mother fails to inform her that the English translation is asafetida, and instead tells her that it's called Hing itself.